back to Ozarks Fox AM live from the Dickerson Park Zoo. Uh, we are here at the brand new conservation station. Brand new as in renovated. It's mm. actually been here for a very long time and was uh, actually just blocked off and we had no access to it for several years. So this is our first year, first season that we've actually had it open, which gives us an event space, Right. which is so cool, something we've never had. So I was curious, Joey, I remember doing a segment with you maybe last year, the year before, as they were renovating. Can you give us a little brief history about what this used to be, what it was used for, and now how you saved it? It's been several things. Long before I was here, uh, there was, uh, I think, bugs out here. It used to be an observation deck. And then for a while, we used it just for our volunteers until it came to the point that it was no longer safe to be out here. We'd actually looked at tearing it down. I mean, it was an eyesore, as you can remember. And we have a maintenance director. Ray could literally do anything. Ray could fix anything. I'd say, give Ray duct tape and a step ladder and a hammer, and he, <laughs> he can do anything. MacGyver. And so he walks out here and he goes, you know what, we can fix this. And he and his crew, uh, they're responsible for maintaining the entire zoo. So that's a lot of work, but they would find time to just work on this and get it done and redid the floors, all of it. Uh, I mean, just just completely renovated the entire thing. So we have an indoor outdoor. We're out on the, the deck mm -hmm. uh, overlooking Dickerson Lake. And then we have the covered space and we've already rented this out to some groups. We've had some uh, organizations that have had uh, team building exercises out here. Uh, we've had some people that have had uh, reunions and rented it for that purpose. And it's just, it's, it's a, it's such a gift because it's something one that we thought we were going to tear down and now we have a place where we can do some you know some special events have a covered space it. so you know if there's a little bit of a rain you're still covered and if it quits raining you can come out on the come deck come on yeah. out get some it's, sun it's yeah. gorgeous well it's very and nice since we are talking about brew at the zoo, what can people, can people bring food here, just gather here, will this be open? Yeah, so literally right across the road from this is will be where the, the taco truck is set up, where Tinga Tacos will be. Tinga and so you can grab your taco or you can go down to the, uh, the zoo cafe and get your hamburger, your hot dog, your pizza or whatever you want there. And you can come and sit at the tables here or just walk out here, stand out here and enjoy the scenery. So yeah, this will be open. This is always open when the zoo is open. So you can just come out. Any guest is able to come out. We've got koi fish down here. You can get some fish food and feed the fish or just enjoy. I like this, the sound of, of water. It's mm -hmm. like that's one of my happy places. So just listening to the water from the fountains here, is, it's really nice. Yeah. Okay, so I'm looking up and I see a beautiful painted sign called Crocker Conservation Station. What is, who is Crocker? Okay, Mike Crocker uh, was our longtime zoo director almost 48 years at Dickerson Park Zoo. He retired uh, just at the beginning of the year. And we actually kept this as a surprise for him, which is really hard to surprise Crocker with anything. So we had tra uh, drapes over it where you couldn't see what was going on. Because as soon as he retired, he came back as a volunteer. So he was still walking around the zoo. Oh my now, gosh. Which we love. <laughs> and if you notice the snakes, his nickname is Snake because he is a snake expert. Uh, Whenever we would do presentations together, I would always introduce him. This is my boss, and he's crazy. Um, <laughs> and I would tease him saying that you're happiest with a peanut butter sandwich in one hand and a snake in the other, which was very true. So he is just, you know, he is such a part of the zoo, even now as retired. So we actually did pull this surprise off, and we were able to drop the banner and surprise him with this. Oh and uh. like I said, it's hard to get to him. I think this got to him. It was pretty oh, cool. That I is so really cool. The CCS, the Crocker Conservation Station. I mean, it had to be named after him, yeah. and the snakes had to be up there. This one up here, uh, the one up on the right, was actually uh, the artist got a picture of his, one of his snakes over his lifetime. I mean, he, like, he still has snakes at home, but at one point he had like some crazy amount, like 60, 70 snakes. Like, he really loves snakes, and that wow. was his favorite snake. Brutus. I mean... A piece of history, you know, like he's going to go is. down oh, in Dickerson well, Park. His it's history. his history on top of a piece of history. It yeah. is history on history. Yeah. And it's just, it's, we are so thankful to have this space because it really opens up the opportunities for us. Like we have a group that's coming out in October. Normally by October, we really didn't have anywhere we could put people because you never know what the weather's going to be. And we have a group that's already, we've got a couple groups that have rented this for October. So, oh, and it is, it's, it's going to be a nice addition this year for Brew at the Zoo. Yeah. And speaking of, because we were talking about how, like, we are not ending summer until actually no. September 21st. Although, look at me standing here, Mike. I finally gave up. She gave up. She I put the jacket up. on. Joey, you yeah, we've been holding. As much as we could. We could. I'm 
curious too, you said, you know, October and the groups died down. What are the hours for the zoo like all year long? You open all year long, can people still enjoy the zoo? Absolutely, and in fact, we're getting into some of the absolute best time to be here. The zoo is open year round. We only officially close on Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's Day. Now, if it's snow, ice, we will close for weather. But we are a year round organization and, you know, it's the Ozarks. It could be 70 one day and it could be 30 the next. And then you can have like a 60 degree day in December, which is a great reason to have a Friends of the Zoo membership because you can come out, walk around. Uh, we do switch to winter hours in November. So right now we're nine to five. Starting November 1st, we go nine to four. Okay. Oh, well, that's so not it's, too bad. It, minor not too change. much of a shift. Also in the winter, the cafe and some of the extra things um, are no, the cafe is open, only open on the weekend. Uh -huh. And then, you know, Really pretty days, we'll try to open the giraffe deck and the petting zoo, things like that. Uh -huh. But just basically we, from the November for the winter months, some of those are, are um, short, shortened hours for obvious reasons. Uh -huh. This might seem, again, like a silly question I ask a lot, but what kind of, what, what time of year is your favorite time to be at the zoo? Well, okay, I'm a high heat girl. Okay. Like, um, I found out that my spirit animal is truly the Aldabra tortoise, the big tortoises, because yep. they don't like anything under 70, and they're happy with, like, 90, 95. Okay. So I'm probably the wrong person to ask that question, but, like, this weekend, the looking at the forecast, when you have about a 70, 80-degree day, no humidity, it's perfect. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, it is perfect. But, you know, we see people that will come out, and they'll be bundled up in the winter, and they're walking the zoo because it's a 1.2-mile walk. I would say it is the most exotic 1.2-mile in all of Springfield. It's a great place to get your steps, get your exercise, because it's not flat. You're going to get some hills, so you're going to maybe get your heart rate up. But on any given morning, we'll see some people that are out that are just walking. Uh-huh. You know, instead of mall walking, they're coming in and do zoo yeah. walking. Zoo walking. And you're literally, zoo walking. you're amongst nature. Yes. Literally, it is, like, exotic nature. I mean, it's the coolest place to come out and just walk. I mean, because you, you see peacocks, you hear peacocks, you get a little bit of cardio as you're dodging peacock poo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, you'll hear the lion roar, the howler monkey. So it's just, it is just an unusual, exotic, and unique place to come and walk. Mm -hmm. It is so much fun. I'm so impressed. Every time I come here, I feel like you guys are upgrading or doing something new to keep it fresh for the for the public. We are trying. Uh, you know, like I said, we're a little over. We're 101 years old. Uh, we still hope have hopes for the Bear Boardwalk to uh, you know get that completion and that, get that back open. We have a lot of guests asking about that, and so um, that's why that's why coming to the zoo is so important because it just allows us to do even more. Yeah, and we're going to be talking more about Brew at the Zoo coming up a little bit later because it's 21 and up. Yes. It's a great way to raise money for the zoo and have a great time and really experience it in a totally different way than what you might see it well, normally you know, during regular be... business hours, yes. which is fun. Always fun. Let's, let's all cuddle before yes. we go to commercial. It is very <laughs> yeah. cold. It uh. is a fall morning. But it's a it fall, morning. fall morning. It I, really is. I have to, I have to give up. It, yeah. it is fall. I, I surrender. Ah. Guys, don't go anywhere. So much more fun live from the Dickerson Park Zoo coming up right after this.